Welcome to the Rapid Weaver for Beginners course. This course is going to show you how to build a complete website using Rapid Weaver. So you'll learn how to create pages and add content. You'll also learn how to customize the look and feel of your site. And you'll see how easy it is to update things like the page URL, browser titles, and add meta tags. Towards the end of the course, you're also going to learn about Stacks, the popular third party add-on that brings a free form layout into Rapid Weaver. At the very end of the course, you'll also learn how to use Rapid Weaver Smart Publishing to get your completed website onto your domain name. So with that being said, let's get started. And the first thing you need to do is visit realmaxsoftware.com forward slash Rapid Weaver and click the free download button to get the latest copy of Rapid Weaver installed. Once you've got Rapid Weaver on your machine, let's open it up and then click the create a new Rapid Weaver project. And the first thing you need to do is add a home page to your site. So click the plus button here, go to all plugins and select styled text. And this will add a page to your Rapid Weaver project. We're going to instantly rename this. So double click the untitled page and call it home. You'll also notice in the left hand side here, we have a resources area. This is where we can drag and drop in things like images. And then we have a settings area for our project. We're going to cover both of the resources and settings area later on in this course. But for now, I want to start with the basics of adding content to our homepage. So the key thing to remember with RapidWeaver is that there is an edit and a preview mode. Edit is where you add your content and preview is where you can see how your site currently looks. So right now we don't have any content for our homepage. However, if we preview that, you'll see that RapidWeaver gives you some default content or some default layout for your site. Here you can see we have the navigation. So the home page is already linked to. As we add more pages, Rapid Weaver will automatically add those to the navigation for us. There's no need for you to build the navigation for your site. Rapid Weaver handles everything for you. Okay, next you have your site title and slogan, and then you have your main content area and a sidebar area here, and then the footer area at the bottom. Now the theme or the design that we're looking at is the default theme that is applied in Rapid Weaver 7. However, for this course, we're going to use a different theme. So click on the themes button in the menu bar here, and that will show you the themes drawer. And the theme that we're going to use is the Voyager theme. So search for Voyager and select that here. You'll see that the preview automatically updates and applies that theme design. Each theme has its own unique look and feel. So the navigation, for example, in this theme is not displayed by default. It's under this navigation icon here. And when we click on that, you'll see that we get this nice overlay and our navigation is placed here. We're going to look at later on in this course how we can customize this theme further to make it feel like our own site. However, for now, let's get started with the home page by adding some content. So we'll go back to the edit mode and what we can do is just start typing some text. So for the home page, I'm going to have three sections, each with the title, some text and a link off to another one of our pages. So the first title I'm going to have is what I do. And then we're going to have some text underneath that or a paragraph of text. Now, rather than typing that out, we could paste in some text or we can just drag and drop a text snippet. And you'll see on the desktop here, I have an assets folder and these assets are provided with this course for you. And what we can do is just drag and drop in this text snippet here. And you'll see that that gets added to Rapid Weaver's edit area. If we go back to preview quickly, you'll see that we now have that content inside of the main content area for this theme. So let's go back to edit. And as I said, what I want is for this text to be the title. So I'm going to select what I do. And then I'm going to use the styling bar at the bottom of the window here to make this text bold. And then I'm going to press Command plus to increase the size. Okay, so in the style text page, what we see in edit mode is what we'll get in preview. So when we go back to preview, you'll see that, that what I do text has been made bold and larger. So as I said, what I'm going to have is three sections here. So I'm going to copy this section, add a couple of line breaks and then paste it in twice more. And then I'm just going to update the headers 
and this one is going to say what I've done and the last one is going to say photography so hopefully you're starting to see the type of site we're going to build here it's going to be a personal site where you want to show off some of the work you've done perhaps some personal photography and also a contact form so that people could get in touch if they're interested in working with you anyway as I say these are the three sections that we're going to have if we go to preview again quickly you'll see that they've been added to the content area so hopefully you're starting to see the workflow inside of RapidWeaver you'll add your content in the edit mode and then you can preview that in the preview mode and you can see that that gets updated as we add more text here okay the final thing I want to do before we move on is add some dividers in between each one of these sections now in the styled text page we're not limited to using text only we can use HTML as well so to demonstrate that I'm going to add a horizontal rule by using the HR HTML tag so add this code here and then I'm just going to copy that and paste it in above the photography title as well then when we go back to preview mode now just quickly before we do that I'm going to be using the keyboard shortcut to switch between edit and preview and that keyboard shortcut is command R so that will just save me having to go up and click on edit and preview you can just click command or you can press command R and it will switch between edit and preview for you anyway as you can see our horizontal rules have been added in between each one of the sections here so I just wanted to do that to demonstrate that we can add HTML into a styled text as well now good practice when adding HTML is to use RapidWeaver's ignore formatting for this piece of text or for this code so highlight the line that the horizontal rule is on then go up to the format menu here and say ignore formatting and what this basically does is tell RapidWeaver that this piece of text should not be formatted or should not be styled and as I say it's good practice to do that if you're including any code on a styled text page so we'll also do that for this second horizontal rule here and as you can see there is a keyboard shortcut of command dot as well so I'll use that now you'll see that there is a red background for any text that won't be styled or that the formatting will be ignored on so when we go back to preview we should still get the same results but I just want to show you that that is a good practice to get into otherwise you could find that RapidWeaver will start converting some of your HTML code and it won't be displayed properly okay before we move on to the general settings area for our project I just want to point out the sidebar content area here to add content to the sidebar what we need to use is the page inspector and we open up the page inspector by clicking on the I button here now you can have it inside of the rapid weaver window or you can have a floating inspector like so I'll use the floating inspector for now and what we need to do is go to the second tab here and I'm just going to pull that over and you'll see the page sidebar now you can have a title so I'll just put something in and you'll see that gets updated and then I'm going to paste whoops I'm going to actually drag in some of that dummy text here so let me just move that off to the side go back to RapidWeaver and I'll drag that text in and you'll see that RapidWeaver automatically updates in the background whenever we make a change so we can always see what our site is looking like instantly okay so we now have our main content area filled and our sidebar as well the next thing I want to do is show you how to update your site title and slogan to do that go to the general settings here and you can see that we have a title and a slogan box so the title for my website is going to be my name so Ben Council and the slogan is going to be hello I'm Ben designer and developer at RealMac okay now when we go back to the home page and we preview that you'll see that it automatically gets updated with those new title and slogans applied okay so I think that will just about do it for this first lesson before we finish up let's save this project and we'll save it to the desktop and I'm just going to call this Ben's site like so and then in the next video we're going to be adding our about page and our contact page so once you're ready I'll see you there